Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> How I many people know that Charles Dickens was a street dancer and a rapper? <laughs> Here's a lesser known rap written by Buzz. Buzz Marley. That's a double pun on a couple of different things. There is a steady guide available after the show. <laughs> Scrooge and Marley decide on the counting house rent, but dead as a damn though, Scrooge's partner was dead. Christmas room in the office was cold as a freezer. Bob Cratchit had no coal, didn't bother Ebenezer. That squeezing, wrenching, grasping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Bah, I'm like his reply to nephew's Christmas dinner invitation. <laughs> When collecting for the poor, two men asked for his donation. He said, let the poor all die and decrease the population. <laughs> Vote for Trump. <laughs> Begrudgingly, he gave his clerk the next day off, then home to his room, nursing us like cough. <clears throat> bah, humbug, he repeated, and he stuck to his bed when the eerie sound of eerie change served to fill his heart with dread. Can I have the sound of eerie chains, please? Nice. No, no, no. <laughs> All chained to his cash ledgers came his old partner's ghost, and he begged Ebenezer to do his uppermost to change his selfish ways. The response to this suggestion was to claim Marley's appearance was a case of indigestion. You'll be visited by spirits who'll implore you to repent. Take heed, old friend, and change your ways. Then through the wall he went. Bah! Humpback said the miser. Glad this visit was done. He got in bed and fell asleep until the clock struck. What? The first ghost of Christmas conveyed him to his past. His lonely life, his sister Fran engagement did at last. His fiancée released him, though it cost her so much pain. She couldn't stand his worship of his great god. Mammy. Game! Go for Ottawa. Go for Trump. His apprentice with Fezziwig. Oh, wouldn't it be loverly to see his bunch dance with his wife, the Sir Roger de Coverley? <laughs> Which you all did a very nice job of. Oh, take me back, oh spirit, he said with a moan. And so he did, and once again he found himself alone. The clock struck one, and suddenly the signs sent in sight so pleasant filled all the room, and there he was with the ghost of Christmas presents. Again the spirit took him on a whirlwind tour around the world through town and shire by neighbors rich and poor. And vote for Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> At every place the spirit stopped, though heavy with despair, he radiated all around him a sense of love and care. <laughs> The Cratchit's home with Tiny Tim, legs crippled by disease. God bless us, everyone, he cried. Now pass the pudding, please. <laughs> At nephew Fred's house, laughter rain, although some at his expense. He figured uncle's loneliness was his own just recompense. But one last sight the spirit held, his demeanor going blunt. Two wretched children neath his robe, pale, ignorance, and want. want. Bernie. <laughs> the final spirit turn it was of Christmas yet to come. Black coat, no face, an outstressed hand, no voice at all, quite dumb. First to a conversation, twixt bankers in the town. Hillary. <laughs> Someone had died, but twas no matter, no real cause to frown. That to the ragged bone man's where purchases were made of curtains, blankets, bedclothes, stripped from the newly dead. Then to the Cratchit's house, all somber, morning, tardy tomb. Finally to a graveyard where the rotting course was him. Now old man Scrooge was on his knees crying like a baby. Are these the things that must be spirit or only just what? Maybe. You guys are getting it now. <laughs> <laughs> Why show me this if I'm past all hope? I'm not the man I was. I'll quit that slippery slope. I'll harbor Christmas in my heart and keep it all the year. He tried to grasp the specter, not Arlen. Just to watch him disappear. No, and behold, he found himself right back in his bed. The horror of the night were past. Hooray! He wasn't dead. He was light as a feather, as giddy as a drunk. What day is it, young fellow? No longer in a funk. It's Christmas Day, the urchin said, 
still time to change his ways. He sent a giant turkey to the Cratchits in a daze. He dressed in all his best, started to the house of Fred, crying Merry Christmas Day, Merry Christmas Day, to every passing head. So Bob Cratchit got a raise, the almsmen got their gift, gone was Bob Humbug, gone the grasping thrift. I've only got one more rhyme before I've got to fly. It's about Tiny Tim. He did not die. Thank you.